Here at Darren Marlin College, our Year 11 physics class is a very enthusiastic bunch. While studying projectile motion, we decided to build our own trebuchet, which is the height of siege warfare in early days. This is how we did it. Here comes another one. But the planning behind the construction was the most important part of our project. The materials used, where to build it, and the measurements were all very important. Here comes another one. The trebuchet was put together in the design and technology workshop. The metalwork in one room, the woodwork in another. Finally, it was pieced together in the workshop. Today we made the A-frame to go on either side of the trap. Uh, we had to cut the supports for it, so stop it, so when we put it together, put the support against it, stop it from tipping over. We um, couldn't actually get the right angle when we were cutting the supports, so we had to shave them off a bit, but we fixed it in the end. We did the measurements of the table, uh, of the door, which we were, we were going to use today, to actually make the base of our trebuchet. Um, today, we also brought the wood and all the metal, all the pieces of metal. We put the axle together to actually support the bottom of the, of the door. We screwed, we got the screws and all the other equipment that we put together. Um, so basically, yeah, this this place is basically charging all the metal 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 parts of the art trebuchet. We came in and uh, there was a door, and then Mima and Matt were welding the little brackets which are holding the axles in place. Because we wrote something down wrong, the A-frames were 27 centimeters too big for the door, but we fixed that by putting the braces across the bottom of the uh, oversized A-frame, and then we're going to put the A-frames on top of the door. Here comes and then the fun part, firing it in the name of science.